Hello everyone. Merging lower models with different network dimensions can be difficult, especially for those interested in stable diffusion and lower training. But don't worry, we've got you covered. In this YouTube video, we'll teach you how to merge lower models with different network dimensions in just a few simple steps. So, if you want to enhance your lower training and stable diffusion skills, stay tuned and let's get started. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. In the last two videos, we talked about how to merge different lower models in your computer. If you have not watched this video yet, you can find the links here and in the description below. Before we dive into today's topic, we want to take a moment to ask you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below. Are you ready? Last time, when we tried to merge a lower model of network dimension 128 with another lower model of network dimension, we got an error in the Python script. We used the merge lower dot Python script to do it last time. But there is an error saying that the shape of the weights are mismatched and the dimensions are different. When I looked into the source folder, I found there is another Python script to do something similar. And it was the SVD merge lower Python script. This is the help message of the Python script. We can see that there is a new rank parameter available. We can specify the rank of the upper lower model, which is the network dimension. Perhaps we can merge lower models with different network dimensions together. Today we are going to try this out. We open our workspace. Last time we created a bash script to run the Python script. This time we will do the same. We will create a bash script to run the SVD merge lower Python script. In the bash script, we will use the SVD merge lower door pi instead. There are some parameters that are the same as the old script. They are the save precision parameter, the saved parameter, the models parameter, and the ratios parameter. But this time, we need a new parameter called new rank. We can try to use this new parameter to specify the network dimension of our new lower model. We will try to merge the custom dance lower model and the Emma Watson lower model together. We have two models here. One is network dimension 128. The other is network dimension 32. The new rank is 128. I'll put this here. We add SVD at the beginning so we can remember what is it. We can run the bash script in the terminal, change the layout, activate the conda environment, run it. This time the process is slower. The new rank is 128. It did not mention the original ranks of the input models. OK. The output is here. We copy the output lower model and paste it to the stable diffusion web UI lower model folder. And then we can do the XYZ plot. I have already the prompt and the seed. We set the X type to prompt this error. We set the X values to the lower models we want. Y type to seed. Set four random seeds. Press the generate button and wait. Okay, this is the results. The first column is Emma Watson. The second column is Kirsten Dunst. The third column is our merged lower model. We can see that the output is quite similar to both the inputs. This image is more obvious. They are the combination of the inputs. 
the results look more beautiful after merging. Yes, the results look much more beautiful after merging. If you're enjoying this content so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Your support means a lot to us. Okay. We just finished merging two lower models. Let's try merging three lower models together. Add the third model here. We will add Scarlett Johansson as the third model. Remember to set the ratios. We need three ratios for the input. Set it to 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.3. We can try to run the bash script again. Done. We now copy the new merged one and paste it to the stable diffusion lower model folder. To check the results. Use the XYZ plot again. We need to add one more Scarlett Johansson here. We should have four columns and four rows. Let's try. Okay, this is the results. The first column is Emma Watson, network dimension 32. The second column is Kirsten Dunst, network dimension 128. The third column is Scarlett Johansson, network dimension 128. The last column is our merged Laura model, network dimension 128. Do the results look like the combination of those three inputs? It's hard to see if there are three input models but the results look different and similar to the inputs at the same time. But the results from the merged LoRa models are more beautiful. It's more clear and smooth. So now we know we can merge more than two LoRa models together. They are all downloaded from the internet. This time. We try to combine our merged one with one that was downloaded from the internet. We will try to merge the one in the first part with the Taylor Swift one. We copy the name and update one of the input. Remove one input. We set the other input as this. Update the output name. This time we have only two models. So we need to set the ratios also. This should be fine. Run the bash script to merge again. Done. We now copy the new merged one and paste it to the Stable Diffusion Laura model folder. We can do the XYZ plot now. Set the X values. Update the prompt. Press Generate and wait. This is the result. The first column is the models we got from step 1. The second column is the Taylor Swift model. The last column is the newly merged one. The results are really good and look more beautiful than the original one. You can see the effect, right?
look exactly like the combination of the Impa 2 models. The results are really different than the input models. This is our observation. We can merge lower models of different network dimensions together. We can also merge more than two of these together. And the merged one is just any normal lower model. We can merge it with other models again. Wait. Why do we need to do that? We can actually get the same results in the prompt. Let's see how it looks. We just enter the lower models we want to the prompt. The results should look the same. The weight is not correct. Fix it. Try again. This one really looks like a combination of them. How we can compare the results. Use the XYZ plot again. We want to see the individual ones first. Then the one from the prompt. And the one from our merge script. One, two, three, four. Generate and weigh. Okay, this is it. The first column is Emma Watson, Network Dimension 32. The second column is Kirsten Dunst, Network Dimension 128. The third column is the results from the prompt. The last column is the results from our most model. We mainly want to compare the last two columns here. We can see that the results are so close. They look so similar. Even the composition and hairstyle look similar. These two are the same, look similar. These two. The bit different. The last one. Looks similar. The angle of the photos and face and the hair cell all look similar. Observation. We can see that the results are so similar. Questions. When will you try to merge using the SD scripts? And when will you try to merge in the prompt? Please let us know in the comment below. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about stable diffusion and lore training, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. I will put up the other video soon. You can find the call-up notebook in the description. You can also find all the models and images in my Patreon account. The link can be found in the description. Thank you and see you in the next video.